Now that you've successfully transferred your nuke and even completed your first inspection, it's a really good moment to get to know the different members of your hive. In any hive, you'll find the worker bee, the drone, and of course, Her Majesty the Queen. So let's open her up and see what's inside. The worker bee actually composes the great majority of your hive, approximately 90% of the whole colony, ranging from 50 to 80,000 at its strongest. You can find the worker on any frame and pretty much everywhere in the hive, as it occupies different roles during its short 30 to 45 days life. Speaking of life, wow, look at this one. It's just emerging from its cell. Isn't it beautiful? When it's born, the first task of the young bee is to clean its own cell. See, this one right here is cleaning the bottom of the cell head first. Then, nurse bees feed eggs and larvae with a constant supply of nectar, honey, and royal jelly. When it's old enough, the worker starts exuding wax from the space between several of its abdominal segments. It then uses the wax to build combs and cells. Finally, as they get older, bees end up with more and more demanding tasks such as fanning, guarding, and foraging, the act of gathering nectar and pollen at a five kilometers radius from the hive. Oh, here's another member of the hive, the drone. It's the male bee, much larger than a worker, see? It has huge eyes on its head and its abdomen is much larger. And finally, of course, the one, the only, the queen bee. It's super important to practice how to locate her, since we'll be looking for her in most of our inspections. She has a very distinct appearance, as you can see. She's much larger than both workers and drones. Her abdomen is elongated, and she has a tiny set of wings on her back. An easy way to know if she's around is to look for young eggs or larvae, since she lays and lays and lays up to 2,000 eggs in a single day. You now know a little bit more about the different members of your hive. For all the details, take a look at the article online. And until your next inspection, I really hope you're gonna take the time to watch the bees flying in and out of your hive. You'll see it's truly mesmerizing.